What's up, fact lovers? I'm Brian. And I'm Ellen. Today we're talking about dogs. You probably already know that dogs and humans share a very strong relationship, but just how strong may surprise you. We've also got facts about laser pointers and poop stairs. What's a poop stair? Shh, no spoilers. Specially trained dogs are often used in police forces, which is nothing new. Ancient Egyptian police are known to have used canines as well as baboons. Man, that is a cop show I would watch. Law and order, ancient Egyptian baboon force. Dogs lick to show affection. Also, humans have sweat salt on their skin and maybe little bits of food. So either your dog likes you or you're just a midday snack. You'll never know. I like to think that dogs have hopes and dreams. What, like kickstarting a couch chewing app? Mm, or a house made of meat. A study shows that they might dream in ways that are similar to humans, replaying and remixing their everyday experiences. Studies of rats, cats, and dogs showed that their brain activity while sleeping was the same as when they were engaged in normal, everyday pet-tivities. Hey, did you know dogs can get braces? Can they also make fun of each other for having braces? What do you think all that barking is at 2 a.m.? Ever wonder how someone else sees the world? Dogs have a wide peripheral vision and see yellows, browns, and blues. Cats see the same colors and have inner eyelids for protection. Birds can see ultraviolet light. And rats' eyes move independently. They see in slow motion with no red and everything is blurry. So rats basically see what I see when I'm drunk? Sometimes I wonder if anyone sees me at all. No one does, Brian. Yes, they do. You do, right? You see me. I exist! Time for poop stare. You know that awkward stare dogs give you when they poop? Yeah, what is that? Do they want me to join them? It's actually because they feel vulnerable and they need to know that someone is protecting them during their sensitive poopy time. And that's me. Sometimes when I'm pooping, I stare at a picture of Liam Neeson just to know I'm safe. Tell me you don't actually do that. I will not. Dogs don't just like it when you rub their ears. They actually get high off of it. The nerves in their ears extend to their internal organs and release endorphins and relaxing impulses through their whole bodies. Ear rubs are a gateway drug, man. They lead to tummy rubs and fetch, and before you know it, you're sniffing crotches for money. Dogs' tracking abilities have made them incredibly useful for sniffing out bombs and drugs. But dogs who are trained to track these things care a lot whether they complete their task. So much so that if they can't find their targets, they can develop psychological problems from feeling like a failed hunter. So dog trainers have to take dogs on dummy runs, where they find what they're looking for and receive a reward. Somewhere out there, there's a room full of bombs, drugs, and doggy treats. That's a room I never imagined existed. Mm, me neither. In fact, the same problems can develop when you tease dogs and cats with laser pointers. They can eventually spend their whole lives chasing after lights and shadows that are impossible to catch. That sounds like my professional life. Sounds like my love life. Sounds like life life. Life. The warm fuzzies you get when you look in your puppy's eyes are likely a result of our evolutionary progress. You about to ruin love with science? Maybe. Sustained eye contact is known to raise oxytocin levels in both humans and modern dogs. This builds trust and bonding, which has probably been a survival advantage over the generations of human-dog cooperation. Or it's just wonderful magic. Or that. And those are our facts about dogs. If you liked that, like it and subscribe to our channel. We've got stuff about Lincoln, Einstein, and Star Wars. And if you like funny stuff, check out our sketch channel, Friend Dog Studios. I'm in it too. That's sad. <laughs>